Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about a theory that has been floating around on the internet for the past few days, weeks, who even knows what the fuck time is anymore. But there's been this theory going around about Alec Baldwin's wife, Hilaria Baldwin or Hilaria, however she thinks it needs to be pronounced. When I talk about these theories that are going around about her and her lying about her identity and so on and so forth, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, she's for sure this, she's for sure that she's not this she's not that I'm gonna just show you the inconsistencies and kind of like the reasons why people are coming to certain conclusions just because I think it's so interesting to either find out or have a whole massive theory about someone essentially lying about their identity now the central focus of this entire story really funnily enough is whether she is Spanish or not because there have been contradictory statements coming from her and recently she's been kind of memed because of her accent and we'll get into that as well. So basically one interview she did, I'll be posting everything on the screen, in one interview she did she said that she moved to go to NYU when she was 19 and she said she moved from Spain. So you and moved one here chair. with your parents? No, 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 I moved here when I was 19 to go to NYU. Ah, and from? From, my family lives in Spain, they live in Mallorca. Okay. That by itself doesn't mean you're Spanish, right? Because you can just live somewhere. On another website, it said that she was Spanish and from Mallorca. Then we see another article come out where it actually says that she is born in Boston. Then people started looking into her parents and both of her parents were born in the United States. So her mother, I believe, was also born in Massachusetts. My, my heart is overflowing being here. I'm especially touched to be returning to my alma mater. My father, Charles Hayward, who was the art professor here from 1969 to 19. 87. Whereas her father, I believe, was born. Her father, David L. Thomas Jr., said in a blog post, he said, my path in life has been heavily influenced by Spanish language and culture and not because I have an iota of Latin blood in my veins. And as far as her parents right now, they do live in Spain right now, but that's just where they live. So even just with this information, you can understand why people were confused being like, okay, so like, what's the real story? What's the real deal? Since Spain kind of pops up here and there of where she was born, but then she's not born there. But now her parents live there. It was a whole thing. There was a viral tweet that essentially exposed the fact that her name was originally Hillary Hayward Thomas. Hilaria Baldwin. Hilaria Baldwin. Hilaria Baldwin. And old classmates from Cambridge School of Weston were coming out saying, I went to school with her. She did not have an accent. She was just, you know, a, a white girl from Massachusetts. There was no accent there. There was nothing of Spanish there that could be noted. Hillary was kind and hardworking. Another O2 grad tweeted, and yes, a white girl from Boston. One former teacher who did not want to use their name for publication said Baldwin had no trace of a Spanish accent while she was at that school. Now, I wanna make one thing very, very clear. I don't think not having an accent or having an accent makes you from somewhere because if we use me as an example, I was born in Germany, only lived there one year, don't know any German because the parent who is German is my dad and he's not part of my life, so I never learned German. Since we moved, I had no reason to learn it. On the other hand, my mom and the rest of my family are Italian. They're from Turin, Italy. Italian is my first language. Could you tell? From how I'm talking, you can't tell. I don't have an accent. Why is that? Because my mom made the strategic choice to send me to American schools, save for two separate instances where I went to an Italian one and then a French one. But the whole time I went to American schools exactly so I could not have an accent. I know a lot of people who have a very similar situation. And having an accent is also, aside from schooling, she could very well be Spanish and have one parent be British, American, Australian, Canadian, any country that speaks English, who speaks it without an accent and she could have learned it from them mimicking their accent, if that makes sense. So. I don't think the having or not having of an accent determines things. The thing is here, it's not about having or not having an accent, it's the inconsistency 
of it being there and then not there. And the last thing I'm gonna preface as well is also like if she were speaking English and she sees a word in Spanish, she's gonna pronounce it the Spanish way, right? The same way that if I'm speaking English right now and I see the word for family in Italian, that's familia, I'm not gonna butcher it and say famiglia just because I'm speaking English. Does that make sense? So like changing accents in that particular context as well is not strange. The thing is she changes accents in context that you're just kind of like, there's a clip of her responding to something Amy Schumer said about her and you have no trace of an accent, no trace whatsoever. The entire like Instagram story that was up. Talk about um, what happened with Amy Schumer. So she posted a photo or reposted a photo of me with my baby um, talking about this really cool cream that I helped develop and I'm super proud of and really excited about. Um, and I posted a million photos like that in the past. So I didn't really think that it was going to be that big a deal. And Married life is really nice. You know, it feels different. It really feels different, but I didn't think. How was it? How, was it amazing? You know what? And I'm not just saying this because it was my wedding, but it was the best party ever, oh, ever, ever, on. ever. I had like 35 or 40 of my family members come from Spain, which equals really good party. But then you'll have other interviews where it's quite pronounced. And so that's also what led people down this theory of, okay, is she lying about who she is? Because realistically, between changing her name, between kind of this, let's say miscommunication, giving the benefit of the doubt, with this miscommunication of where she was born, it doesn't look good on her end. It doesn't seem transparent, just seems like she's trying to hide something, which granted, maybe she wasn't trying to hide it, maybe she simply omitted it. The fact that she went from Hillary to Iradia and then claimed that she was from Spain, that's something she did on purpose. We can't we can't give much of a benefit of the doubt to that. I mean, like she could have just altered her name because she preferred it. But again, it's like, what was the reason for the Spanish storyline? Baldwin actually responded because she was raised in a bilingual household. Sometimes her accent fluctuates. Then it says, there was a lot of back and forth my entire life. I'm really lucky I grew up speaking two languages, Baldwin said. When I tried to work, I enunciate a little bit more, but when I get nervous or upset, then I start to mix the two. In the past few days, numerous online critics have called Ilaria, a white girl from Boston, a label she appeared to embrace Sunday. Yes, I'm a white girl, she said. Europe has a lot of white people there. My family is white. Ethnically, I am a mix of many, many, many things. Culturally, I grew up with the two cultures, so it's really as simple as that. That's how she tried to shut down the theories. I don't know if it's really going to work because you know how the internet is. Once they go down a rabbit hole, they find a billion other things that, you know, it's kind of like confirmation bias that if you already drew a conclusion, anything you find that may not even relate to your conclusion, you're gonna make it fit because you've decided that that is the conclusion you wanna get to. Honestly, I don't have much of an opinion on this. To me, the only thing that seems strange is the accent thing, like I said, in its particular context it could make sense, but if I'm talking to you like this and all of a sudden I start talking with a different accent, you'd be like, wait, what? You know, um, if it were for a particular word, it might make sense, but it's just, it just seems like two different images. And part of me also wonders, you know, you can lose accents. I have friends who natively speak one language and because they lived in England for 10 years, they lost their accent in English and actually adopted a British one. I actually know two people who are from the same household and one of them has an American accent because of the schools they went to and one of them has a British accent because of the schools they went to, but the language they speak at home isn't even English. So, you know, like I think there's a lot to take into account. I think a big talking point of this whole story is the accent and the name, but I think the bigger focus is like, is this person kind of faking an identity? Is this person playing a character for all of us that we think is who they actually are? Does that make sense? Because all of these things about accents and like where she's born and all that are important and significant, yes, but they all point to the bigger picture of like, do I know who I'm following? Do I know who, who this person is? Or am I being tricked kind of? And realistically, will we ever know celebrities unless you're like BFFs with them? No, there is a kind of feeling of betrayal with certain people, maybe fans of hers who feel like 
they've been duped into believing she's something she's not. I wouldn't know because I'm kind of Switzerland about all of that. I don't really care about those actors in particular. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always, and I'll catch you guys next time.